Hi folks, it's Morning Coffee with Mark. Cheers. I wanted to make a, a quick video uh, on an issue that the, the Mini 3 Pro has been having uh, as of recently with the firmware. Uh, I got this uh, this little guy here. As you can see it's got some damage on it. This is going to be for a future uh, repair video. It's got dinged here in the, the one sensor. Uh, it does fly. Works fine. The person I bought it from said it, it flew and had no issues, and it did. I tested it when I first got it. What I decided to do was it, uh, connect it to the uh, Assistant 2 to uh, check the uh, sensors to see whether they were functional or not, see if they needed to be, well, actually, just to see if I could uh, calibrate the sensors and uh, maybe even refresh the firmware on it. Uh, when I did... Uh, I unplugged it, of course, when it was finished, and then bam, I got an error 30064, unable to fly. Uh, so I, I said, Sh this thing actually does have an issue. So I went on the DJI forums, but discovered there's literally hundreds of postings on the forums with the same problems. Everybody is having this problem with this little guy with the Mini 3 and connecting it to the Assistant 2. Do not connect this to the Assistant 2. It will brick the drone. Uh, you will not be able to fly it at all. DJI has confirmed there, there is an issue with using the Assistant 2. I believe it's a consumer version. Uh, I don't remember the, uh, the actual number, but it's the latest one that's on their website. So don't, don't even bother downloading that if you have the Mini 3 Pro. And definitely do not connect it to the Assistant 2. The only way to really fix the drone is to post your information on the DJI forums. And to their credit, they are helping people, hundreds of people, one by one. If you connect, uh, if you uh, go onto the forums and you put in your email address, the one that you use when you activated your drone, they will push a beta firmware update to you. Uh, then you'll be up and flying again. And there goes the phone. The current version that was released in the middle of September, the firmware version was 300, I believe it ends in 300. The beta version is 310 or 310, and that's the one they'll push to you to fix your drone. It, they did it with me. I actually posted it. It took about a day. And uh, then uh, what you have to do is you have to go into the Fly app and uh, hit the About section and then check for updates. It will not show that there's an update when you first connect to the drone. You have to go into the uh, About section check for updates and you'll just see you'll discover there's an update there for you this is after you have confirmation that they push the update to you and they'll post it in the forums when when they do go ahead and go through the firmware update and you'll be up and flying again uh, it works just great i mean it, it, it's pretty amazing that they can do that i would assume they're going to be releasing this uh this beta firmware uh pretty much to everybody soon because there are still a lot of people who continue to have this issue with the with the current firmware? So I would imagine that you'll get a an update pushed to you. I would actually encourage you maybe to even wait for this update to be pushed to everybody because you don't want to overwhelm the, the folks there at DJI through the forums. Uh, if they get hundreds and hundreds of more people uh, going into the forums and asking for this update, it 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 might actually even stop this whole process. Uh, kind of like had second thoughts about creating this video uh, for that reason. I don't want them to be overwhelmed and uh, and decide not to even do this and just wait for the, uh, the update to be released. Uh, maybe that's what you want to do. If you don't need to fly the drone, I would just wait for the update to be released publicly, which it should be soon. Uh, then, uh, you know, just take it through the normal channels. I'll be releasing a, uh, I'll be doing a repair video on this uh, soon. I just got the parts in yesterday, actually to replace the, the shell and the front housing for the sensors. So watch for that coming up in the near future. That's all I've got today. Just wanted to uh, throw this video up as a public service, let you know that there is an issue. Do not use, once again, do not use the Assistant 2 uh, to update your Mini 3 Pro. I, I'm not aware of any other drones having an issue with it, just the Mini 3 Pro with the current firmware, the one ending in 300. Um, all right, folks, that'll do it for this video. Hope this helps. Take care. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.